So a little while ago, I did a video on recording live voiceovers for content, like what I typically do for a lot of my YouTube videos. And since then, I've had a few people ask how to do recorded uh, voiceovers. So ones that you're gonna do a voiceover on something that's already pre-recorded. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. Hey, what's up everyone, Kadik here. And today I'm gonna show you how to do a voiceover on pre-recorded videos using free software, just like the one last time where we used OBS. This time we're gonna be using DaVinci Resolve. Now, I got a comment in the last 24 hours asking about this, so I thought it'd be a really good time to do one. Uh, the comment was by Killer Krieg, and uh, just asking how to do these voiceovers. So I'm gonna show you how to do them with DaVinci Resolve. Now, DaVinci Resolve is what I use to edit all my videos. It's an incredible piece of software. The free version is so good and so handy. Um, and they constantly make it better. The most recent update actually made a, a lot of big improvements for the free version as well. Um, I personally have the studio version just because I like a lot of the additions that I got with it. And I do have the speed editor that I use every once in a while. But we're gonna go over how to do this in DaVinci Resolve 17. So let's just hop right into it. All right, so first things first, go ahead and head to the DaVinci Resolve 17 webpage, go to download now and you're gonna go and download the DaVinci Resolve 17. Now the studio version is the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. Um, the non-studio version is the free version. So go ahead and download that for whichever system you're on. For me, it would be Windows. I've already got it installed, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do it again. Now, once you've got it all set up and ready to go, go ahead and create a new project. And first things first, we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to throw our clip that we wanna do the voiceover for on here. So I'm just gonna quickly grab a clip that I recorded earlier, just specifically for this. And we're gonna go and throw it onto our timeline here. I'm not gonna change the frame rate. My video recorded is at 60 frames per second and the timeline right now is at 30 frames per second. I'm not gonna worry about that. So we're gonna quickly go to the edit page and you're gonna see we have a video and an audio track. Um, and now these are linked together and these are, you know, the, that is that, that entire clip. So we're gonna go ahead and add our voiceover track. You can go ahead, you can add it as mono. You don't need stereo for voiceover. Um, if you do wanna do stereo, you can go ahead and do that, but we're gonna do mono. And we're also gonna rename this and we're just gonna call it VO. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and head over to the Fairlight tab. We could have added that track here, but I just like doing it right on the edit page. And here is where we're gonna set our audio device and we can actually record the audio. So here you're gonna see your mixer. If you don't see the mixer, it's this little button up at the top here. Um, make sure that's out. And for audio two, we're gonna set our input. So you're gonna go and click no input and you're gonna go to input and we're gonna choose my voice meter aux output, which is the microphone. And we're gonna make sure it's on VO. Now, if you do not see your input here, the main reason that I've noticed, um, especially if you have a lot of inputs, um, one of the reasons that you won't see it here is it's not your default in Windows. Uh, if you're using Windows or I believe so, uh, the same thing will happen with Mac OS. So make sure that you go ahead and set your default audio device to whichever device you wanna use to record with, relaunch DaVinci and it'll appear here now. Um, you'll see some other ones under different uh, drop down. So I think I had one as control room monitor. Yeah, see, I have one of my other voice meter ones. So you could take a look through some of these, but the way I was able to get the input I wanted was changing it to the default in Windows. So to change your audio device in Windows, just go ahead, right click on the speaker, go to sound settings, and you can just change the input here to whichever one you wanna use. Uh, alternatively, you can also go to the control panel you can go to the recording tab. You can go and find whichever one you want to use. So let's say we want to change it to this one and you would set it to default device. So once we have these both highlighted and ready to go, you can patch it. And now if I go ahead and click the arm for record button, you're going to be able to, gonna be hear, able to hear me, hear me twice, twice. And you're going to be able, to, be able see to see the, the audio, moving, audio up moving up and down. Now, if you're not now, used to monitoring, monitoring your own voice, your own voice, it is going to be a little bit weird, and, weird, and, you, can and you, mute, you can mute your computer, your computer so you don't have so to rehear it, especially since, there, especially is since there is a delay. delay. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So now we know that our microphone is being picked up by DaVinci. We can go ahead and record. So we can click the record button here, 
And as we're recording, you can see the image here. If you want, you can pop it out into a floating window. You can make it larger, uh, make it a little bit easier to see, and you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Uh, do your voiceover on whatever content you want. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and just press stop. Now that that's done, we're going to go and turn off arm for record. So now the microphone input is going to fade away. So now if I go ahead and press play, you're going to be able to hear the voiceover that I literally just did a couple seconds ago. And as we're recording, you can see the image here. If you want, you can pop it out into a floating window. You can make it larger, uh, make it a little bit easier to see, and you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. So it's very straightforward. From here, you can go ahead, you can add effects. You can change your EQ um, to EQ your voice if you want to. You can do a lot of really nice things. You can change the level if you want to change the level of that. And then once you go back over to the edit tab, it's going to be its own um, its own track here. So you can do whatever you'd like. If you go ahead and open up the inspector, you can change the volume from here. Um, you can also use the EQ here as well. So this makes it all very easy. And then once you're done your voiceover, all you got to do is export and you're good to go. And that's it. I hope that you found this helpful. Um, I don't do pre-recorded voiceovers very often, but I have used this in certain videos, especially when talking over B-roll or talking over sections of video that maybe the audio turned out to be kind of garbage and I wanted to re-record the audio. In some of my upcoming videos, I was talking in a garage the whole time, so the audio was terrible. So I just did voiceover content for that as well. And that's what also prompted me to want to do this video. Sorry if I sound a little stuffy. I've been not feeling very well. I've had a head cold for the last couple days. It's really kicking my butt, but I wanted to get this video out because I have never missed a Friday upload and I plan to never do so. But if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down below. I try to get to them all as quickly as I can. As always, I stream on Twitch from Friday until Tuesday. Come check me out and say hello. And if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask me there and I can try to answer them as quick as I can. I can help you maybe walk through it as well on stream. Thanks again for watching the end of the video. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next Friday.